Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we're gonna do a quick income statement forecast from scratch. So let's get straight to it. Uh, so I have Excel open here. So let's start with an income statement, right? That's gonna be our first step to uh, setting up our forecast. And let's say that our sales, income statements usually starts with sales. So let's say uh, this year is 2024. Uh, we also have cost of goods sold, and then we have our gross profit, mar uh, gross profit, which is going to be there. Um, so let's say this year we uh, sold fifty thousand uh, dollars in merchandise, and let's say that I'm just going to use an assumption here. Let's say that it cost us uh, roughly seventy uh, seventy percent. Uh, to purchase the goods and package and get ready for sale. Uh, so the, the difference between this is, is going to be our gross profit margin, uh, which is 15000 Uh So this number doesn't really tell us much, so I, I usually like to do a gross uh, profit uh, margin as well. And I typically will just divide the gross profit divided by total sales. So you see that our gross profit margin is roughly 30%. Um, so this would be a good assumption to base our, our forecast. And so up top, we can just say, you know, uh, we can start to make some assumptions. And again, forecast is really just based on assumptions. So up top, I'm gonna just enter in my assumptions. Uh, my sales growth uh, year over year. Uh, let's just say the next year we expect sales to go up by five, five percent, right? And then um, we can use our typical uh, gross profit margin as we achieved in 2024. So our our gross uh, profit margin is going to be uh, thirty percent, and this can be whatever percentage you think uh, the business is likely to achieve. Um, okay, so next up, let's go ahead and calculate our uh, expenses. Um, so I'm just going to make some random assumptions here. Let's say our total selling, uh, general, and uh, administrative expenses. Um, administrative expenses. Let's just say we spent roughly $5,000 there. And then let's say we had some additional shipping uh, expenses. Uh, let's say that we spent a thousand dollars for total shipping, and let's say that the business is also working on some research and development uh, d development expense uh, projects to continue to expand the business. Let's say that so for the year we spent. $500. Uh, let's say that we had also had some marketing uh, expenses, which also can be part of the selling, but let's just enter in uh, additional marketing expenses uh, here, and let's say we spent $200 there. So our total expenses uh, for the year were roughly $65,000, and let's just go ahead and change these numbers to uh, some currency so we can make a good understanding of these expenses. All right, so now we have our currency. Um, so this is going to be our operating income. Uh, so this is going to be our income after operating expenses. Operating expenses, call it operating income. And so this will be the difference between our gross profit margin minus our total expenses, roughly. Uh, eight eight thousand three hundred dollars and let's just put some borders here so it's nice and clear uh, we can add some bolding here as well okay uh, so now that we have that let's say we have some uh, non-operating expenses of oh sorry there we go oh, there we go non-operating expenses uh, and this is going to be typically any um, debt service expenses uh, here. 
So let's say that we have a loan on the property. Um, I'm just going to put a, a, a random figure of $10,000. Let's say we have a loan of $10,000 and we're paying 5% uh, interest for the year. So our total interest expense is roughly uh, $5,000. Five hundred. Um, let's make the loan a little bigger. Let's say it's a hundred thousand. So we have about five thousand. Um, yeah, maybe that's a little too big. Let's try seventy-five thousand dollar loan. About thirty, thirty-seven fifty hundred dollars per year. Okay. Um, any some other non-operating expenses we could have? Just maybe let's just type in some, uh, you know, some entity. Uh, expenses. This we could just say. Let's just say it's you know, two hundred dollars a year. Uh, let's say we also are paying some uh, tax in, and tax and uh, accounting consultants. So we can call this accounting uh, slash professional fees to do our accounting. Let's just say for the year it's five hundred, and then. Lastly, uh, we'll 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 finish there. So, so total non-operating expenses sums up to roughly four thousand five fifty dollars. And again, we'll just change these to currency. In fact, let's just go ahead and change everything. Okay, let's add a board there. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, next up, uh, let's go ahead and calculate our tax expense. Uh, so let's let's call it let's call this our earnings. Um, uh, well, actually, what we should have done is maybe move this down here. Okay, that's fine. So let's just say earnings uh, before taxes, um, and let's assume that our in fact, let's go ahead and add a column here so we can add in a few more inputs. Um, so let's calculate our earnings before taxes. Uh, so basically, it's going to be our operating income minus our total non-operating expenses. Okay, so there you go. That's the total of 3850 And let's say our tax expense is going to be 31%, uh, 21% of our earnings before taxes, so we go just calculate uh, earnings before taxes times 21% tax rate of $851. Just symbol that, and so our <coughs> our total net income will be our earnings uh, before taxes minus our ta our, our tax expense, which we're left with $3,041. Um, okay, so that's going to be our net income. Uh, if you want to calculate your, your profit margin, you can simply just take your total net income and divide it by your total sales. It's going to be up top here. And so on average, we're profiting roughly uh, 6.08% net profit. Okay. Um, so now that gives us a, a foundation to start building out our forecast. And so the next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to uh, forecast. Let's just say we want to do a three-year forecast. So what we can do is start uh, projecting three-year forecast. So we'll start 2025 all the way through uh, 2027. And let's say that our expenses are expect our, our sales are expected to grow 3% uh, year over year. So we'll change that to 3% year over year. And so we can start by doing our sales. So let's just take our previous year sales, multiply that by uh, annual growth rate of 3%. And so I want to lock this cell up here just so I, I don't move cells. And so every year our cells will grow by 3%. So we'll just carry that forward. There we go. And so now we have our cells. Uh, we know that our gross profit margin, and, and a couple ways we can do this is we can forecast the cost of goods sold and or we can forecast the gross profit margin. Uh, I like to do things above the sub subtotal line. So what we'll do is we'll take our sales times 70%, uh, which is gonna be our our 30% profit margin. So we'll take 70% of that. 
and so that should be at seventy thirty six thousand, and then we can carry that forward as well. All right, so there's our future cost of goods sold. Um, our gross profit margin is going to be simply the subtraction of of cost of goods sold, and that there there we go. That's our gross profit margin. So we can just and if we want to do a quick check, um, we can also divide the gross profit margin divided by the sales. Okay, so there you go. That's thirty percent. All right. Next up, let's fo forecast our expenses. So let's make an assumption that our and, and there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Um, uh, one one way I like to do this is using uh, percent of growth per, uh, percent of revenues. So, for example, uh, let's let's figure out our selling in general and administrative expenses, administrative um, expenses, K uh, KPI. So, what we can do is let's just call it selling and GNA, uh, and then we'll make an assumption that this is going to be percent of uh, sales. And so we can we can simply calculate that by Dividing the total selling general and administrative expenses divided by uh, total sales. And so that's really, we know uh, selling and general administrative expenses is roughly 10% of sales. And so I think this is a pretty good assumption that we can make uh, for the future. So let's just go ahead and plug that for 2025 and then also for the following years. And again, you know, you can always change this assumption based on, on the, the business that you're analyzing, whether it's, it's your own business or you're analyzing a stock, you can sort of change these assumptions based on the, the historical trend. All right, next up, uh, we want to do a KPI for, uh, and just in, in case you're, you aren't already aware, KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator, uh, and it's just a metric to, to be able to forecast uh, future expenses and sales. Uh, so shipping expenses, uh, let's assume these are gonna be uh, also, percent of sales, percent of sales, and so we can also calculate this. And one thing I can do is just maybe uh, lock this row, and I can just drag this formula down, and so you'll see that it's now dividing the shipping expenses by total sales, uh, and this is uh, going to be a smaller percentage of the expenses. So we can also do the same, right? So then we'll also plug this for future forecasts. All right, so that, that, that gives us our shipping expenses, percent of sales. Uh, next up, we have research and development, which so we'll do R&D percent of sales. And then we'll also do marketing expenses also percent of sales and I believe that is all of our our expenses so there we go okay so we have that uh, we can drag these formulas down and so we know R&D expenses percent is 1% of total sales and then marketing expenses is 0.4% of total sales so now we can use these KPIs to forecast uh, our future um, our future uh, expenses. So simply we'll just take our total sales and we'll multiply that by the assumptions up top. And so for year, uh, year 2025, we're forecasting uh, selling general administrative expenses to go up by $150. All right, so we can just drag that formula down. And then same for shipping expenses, uh, expected to, oh, I forgot to one, do one thing. So I want to make sure I lock the the row for the sales because I want to make sure that these expenses are, uh, are are based on percent of sales and not percent of cost of goods sold. So now I can drop this, and you'll see that that something's still not working here. So let's see here, what did I do wrong? Okay, it looks like I locked the selling general general administrative expense. So let's unlock this one, and then let's go ahead and lock the uh, first, which would be the sales. Okay, so that should be correct now. That looks that looks more like it. So now we can sum up our expenses for 20, uh, 2025, 6,901, and I can simply drag this over and 
it should give you the the 2026 and then 2027. Um, okay, so I can go into this adder row there, make it nice and clean, and also bold this so it's nice and clean. Okay, so now that we have our, our gross profit and expenses forecast, we can now sum up what our total operating income is going to be. Uh, so for 2025, we're expected to generate operating income of $8,549. And then you'll see uh, gradual increases in 2026 of, of $8,800 and then $9,000 in 2027. Uh, for the debt service, uh, we, we can keep this same assumption. Uh, for the remaining three years, um, you know, we can discuss debt, debt, um, you know, future debt assumptions in, in another video. But for now, we'll just keep it simple. And then for entity expenses, usually, usually these are pretty, pretty fixed. So we can just kind of drag those across, and then also uh, accounting professional fees. So let's just say we, we plan to spend the same. Uh, so now that gives us our total non-operating expenses. And then we can now calculate our earnings before taxes. And then we can also, what we can do here is, uh, we can go ahead and lock the tax rate assumption of 21% and then just drag this formula over. And now you'll start to see the increase in taxes. Okay, so now we have our uh, three years forecast. Uh, we can now figure out what our profit margins are gonna be. And so you'll see in 2025, um, we're expected to profit 6.2 to 9%, and then 2026, you'll see what we're expected to profit 6.49, and then 6.68% in year by year 2027. So there you go, that's a simple way to calculate uh, uh, income statement, uh, forecast sales, uh, by using these very helpful KPIs and you know you can do some formatting up top here. Just maybe call these you know uh, key performance uh, indicators or or you call call them assumptions really. So all of these are basically going to be your assumptions. So let's just go ahead and make it a little bit more clean. So we can add like expense assumptions, expense assumptions. And then we can call this here uh, income assumptions. All right, so there you go. Uh, hope this video was helpful. And in, in the next video, we'll cover uh, how to do a cash roll forecast. And so this is just a simple way to teach you how you can start to utilize these assumptions to forecast revenue expenses uh, as well as net income. Thanks for watching.